right now we're going to be looking at the type a foundation connector this is also known as the simpson urfp this is a photograph of one and i thought we're going to be looking at uh, drawings from here on but i thought it's important for you to see what they actually look like so this is it right here this is the urfp this is actually an older model that's a ufp but it looks you know they look identical this is the mud sill that is supposed to restrain from moving. This is the foundation. So this uh, top piece here, top of the URFP, is bolted to the mud sill, which in turn is bolted to the concrete to connect the mud sill to the concrete. Now what we have up here, this is a floor joist, and this is the floor that you would uh, walk around on. So that is the entire system. And since there's a L90 there, I'll go ahead and show how that works as well. So when this floor joist tries to move this way, that force goes into the L90, that in turn goes into the mud sill, and then that turn in turn goes into the URFP and then into the foundation. So that's how the whole system works. Not only will the URFP work if the mud sill is flush with the foundation, but the mud sill can even stick out a full half inch. Probably the best thing about the Type A connector is that you can have a gap of two and a half inches from the face of the concrete to the face of the mud sill right here. Now the reason that's so important is that these old foundations are almost always eight inches between here and here. The mud sills are a full six inches, so that leaves two inches right here. The distance between here, that's the face of the concrete, and the edge of the mud sill can be two and a half inches and you can still install this. So this is extremely common. You see this gap between the, uh, the face of the foundation and the edge of the mud sill all the time. So that's a really big advantage of this. Sometimes we run into situations where the distance between the face of the concrete and the edge of the mud sill exceeds two and a half inches. So there is a solution if you have the type A connector. So let me show you how that works. So the first thing is done is a two by four is placed on edge on top of the foundation and it's butted up against the mud sill. So what you do to either nail or you lag screw the two by four to the mud sill is two and a half inches long wide right here. So this was originally four inches. We've taken up an inch and a half and now we have two and a half inches right here and our URFP type A connector will work perfectly. Another great thing about the type A connector is that the foundations can be angled just like you see here. It can be a 20 degree angle. It's, you know, it's quite a bit. So you can see right here how the, you know, it's at an angle and this here will be wider than it is at the top. And so being able to address that, you know, it's just really, really handy. It's absolutely critical that the lag screws go into the center or within three quarters of an inch of the edge of any mud sill. That's the only part that's been tested. That's the only one they know for sure is gonna work. And so it's absolutely critical that that, that then be correctly. So this is an example of one that was not done correctly and I'll show you how it is. So right here is the concrete, that's the foundation. Right here is the bottom edge of the mud sill. Right here is the top edge of the mud sill. It comes straight across this way. And then this is the thickness, which in this case is two inches. So you can see this screw right here is right at the bottom. And this one's really close to the bottom. And then this one's really, so none of these screws are gonna work. The first thing we do is make sure that the lag screws go straight in the center of the mud sill as the manufacturer requires. And we do that with a foundation anchor centering tool. And I'm gonna show you how we work with that right now. Now we need to get this uh, lag screw right in the center of the sill, or at least it's gotta be a minimum of three quarters of an inch from this edge and three quarters of an inch from this edge. Now, fortunately, in this case, we have a sill that is two inches thick. So what we've done is we put some holes in this jig such that 
The hole is exactly one inch from the top edge of the sill and exactly one inch from the bottom of the sill. So when we put this row of uh, holes here, which are pilot holes to guide the screws, if we put them in exactly at these locations, at the spacings that we have right here, when we put in the uh, URFP, the lag screws will go exactly where they need to go. Now, if someplace on your house, we might find a inch and a half thick mud seal, because that's some of the mirror ones are that thick. In that case, we use this, this upper hole right here, because that's exactly three quarters of an inch from the top. And if we have an inch and a half mud seal, it would be exactly three quarters of an inch from here. And then you, you know, when, once you're all done, your lag screws are right in the center where the manufacturer requires them to be. So now we have a perfectly installed foundation anchor. As you can see here, the screws are straight in the center of the mud sill, exactly where they need to be. So one inch from the top, and then we have one inch from the bottom. And remember, this is exactly what the manufacturer requires.